are we starting? We are starting with the Arizona Wildcats. Okay. Five and seven last year, four and five in conference. They return eight starters on offense, six on defense. Experience in the conference, number five, nationally, number 55. Head coach Kevin Sumlin, 86 and 43 at Houston and Texas A&M. He lost the first two last year, BYU and at Houston, en route to a five and seven season. Had he got one of those, they would have gone to a bowl game. Right. Quarterback Khalil Tate, uh, only he, he was averaging 128 rushing yards per game in 2017. And only 20 yards per game in 2018. Now, he was hurt a little bit, et cetera. His completion percentage dropped, actually. When he, when he started doing more backup or uh, uh, drop back passing. I was about to say, yeah, in the pocket. Went from 62% down to 56%. So, I'm, I don't know what we're going to get this year with Khalil Tate. Uh, running back J.J. Taylor's back. He had over 1,400 yards rushing in 2018. Defense improved in 18, but was still number 92 Total defense in the country, number 121 passing, number 98 scoring. Like, they've got to shore up that side of the ball. Uh, the biggest defensive line Arizona's had in a while is is this year. Uh, the front seven looks better than they have. Uh, their toughest games are on the road other than Washington. So, you know, a bowl game, I think, is it, at, at least a bowl game is okay. the mark. Right. Oh, I think that's definitely their their goal. Yeah. I think that's what we're shooting for if you're an Arizona guy. The over-under is six and a half. Over is minus 130. Under is plus 110. Ooh. Okay. I would have them under the six and a half looking at this schedule. I would, too. Uh, I, I would, too. Now, I've got them at six and six. Here's here's where I'm going through. So, okay. with, with the schedule... At Hawaii, I've got to win. Northern Arizona, I've got to win. But then I've got them losing at home to Texas Tech. I've got a win over UCLA, a win over Colorado. So that starts them out 4-1. and one. Looks good. That's right. But then listen to the way that this thing ends. Washington, loss. At USC, loss, I think. Right? Because I don't know exactly what USC is. But Yeah, we're, we're guessing on some of these. Yeah. Loss at USC, loss at Stanford, a win over Oregon State, then you've got a buy. Then you play uh, at Oregon. I've got that as a loss. A loss to Utah, and then I've got them with a win over Arizona State to get to six wins. Okay. So four and five in conference, six and six. I've I've got a little bit of that jumbled up difference, but I've got I've got them five and seven, and I've got them losing the Arizona State game. That's and you would think because they've got so much experience coming back that they'd be a little bit better, but I don't know. If I can trust Kevin Sumlin right, right now. Right now, in that specific game, late July, I'm making this decision. I'm looking at what I know about these teams and what I know about these coaches. I'm going to go with Herm. I'm, I'm just going to go with Herm. Yeah. I don't think one of these teams is substantially better than the other. I think it is a rivalry game. And, and if I need a coach to get my team up to end the season on a high note and beat your rival, I'm going with Herm. Arizona State at home, like, that's that's going to be rough. That's right. Now, Arizona did catch them last year. That's right. Um, but I think Arizona has better players. Arizona State lost a ton 